I'm Danika. Welcome to Storytime. I'm really grateful to be here in Treaty 6 territory. It's a place where people have gathered to listen and tell stories since time immemorial. It's the home of the Cree, the Dene, the Lakota, Nakota, Dakota, and Soto peoples. It's also the homeland of the Métis. We're always so grateful to be here. I'd like to start with our hello song. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Well, summer's almost over, but I've been thinking a little bit about travel. And sometimes when we can't travel in real life, we can travel in books or songs. I have right here a big map of Saskatchewan. You may have seen one of these in the car, but not very many people use these anymore because we have gadgets like GPS's and phones that talk to us and tell us exactly where we have to turn. I remember when I was little and we had to pull out the map and look at Saskatoon and then decide which road we were going to take to go wherever we wanted to go. So if we get on the road from Saskatoon and drive up to Prince Albert and then turn a little bit, we can go up to Waska Sioux. We can start in Saskatoon and we can drive down this highway and get to Regina. Sometimes we get on the road to visit people that we love. Sometimes we go to explore new places. Sometimes we just look at the map and follow those roads with our finger and think about all the cool places all over Saskatchewan and even all over the world. This is Carson Crosses Canada by Linda Bailey, illustrated by Cass Reich. Annie Magruder and her little dog Carson lived in the town of Tofino. Every day they walked beside the great Pacific Ocean. They loved the salt air. They loved their red house and they loved their sweet life together. Then one day Annie got a letter. Pack your suitcase, she told Carson. My sister Elsie's sick and she needs cheering up. Carson didn't have a suitcase. But he got very excited when Squeaky Chicken went into the car. Annie packed camping gear and dog food. She filled a cooler with bologna sandwiches. Then she and Carson piled into the car and drove east. All morning they drove in the rattlebang car. Carson scratched at the door. Were they there yet? Oh no, said Annie. It's a very long way all the way across Canada. But there's a surprise when we get there for you, Carson. Carson loved surprises. Squeaky Chicken had been a surprise. Every time Carson chewed, he got a brand new noise. Tree, wee, ee. On they drove along Twisty roads through mountains as high as the sky. The Rockies, said Annie. If we were younger, we could climb them. Rough, said Carson. You're right, said Annie. It would be rough. That night, she put up their tent in the woods. Carson watched out for bears. No bears came, but Carson was ready. They rolled on down to a land of lumpy lumps. Hoodoos, said Annie. This is dinosaur country. When Carson saw the giant bones, he got very excited. Was this his surprise? But before he could take a single bite, Annie dragged him away. Settle down, boy, she said. Carson had never imagined a bone could be that big. Next day, the land flattened out. Grain grew in carpets, yellow, blue, gold, 
Oh my, said Annie when they stopped for lunch. Will you look at all that sky? But Carson was looking at the ground. There were grasshoppers everywhere. It took most of his lunch time to catch one. He had it for dessert. That looks like home. And they do call Saskatchewan the land of living skies. The next day was a scorcher. That's what Annie said. The sun beat hard on the highway. Carson drooped all over. When he saw the lake, he was so happy, he tried to leap out the window. Annie held him back. Hang on, boy, she said. Soon they were both in Lake Winnipeg. Carson dog paddled up to Annie and gave her a lick on the nose. For one cool blue moment, they were exactly the same size. After that, there were days of rocks and trees. Carson thought the trees would never end. He barked and barked out the window. Where was his surprise? Annie gave him a pat. It's still a long way to Elsie's. That night, they listened to the loons. Woo hoo, woo hoo hoo. Oh my, said Annie, Canada, such a grand land to cross. And then came a grand sight indeed, a wall of water thundering down a cliff. Carson yapped in amazement. He was used to water that stayed flat. He and Annie watched till they were soaked all over. Then Annie went to buy a souvenir of Niagara Falls. Carson found a grassy spot and left a little souvenir of his own. came to a lively old city where people called Carson a chien. That's dog in French, whispered Annie. They sat at a cafe and ordered a pie filled with pork. It was called tortier. Carson didn't care what it was called, as long as it had meat. He ate the pie in two bites. And still, they kept on driving. Carson was half asleep when Annie let out a yell. Look, the Atlantic Ocean. Carson jumped up and ran right to the water's edge. It smelled like the ocean back home. He sat with Annie and watched the tide go out. It left a sea of mud as far as the eye could see. Oh no, called Annie suddenly. Carson, don't you dare! But Carson couldn't help himself. He rolled all over the sea bed. Best mud ever. The next day, they crossed to an island of red and green. Just like a postcard, said Annie. She stopped at a beach to buy lobster rolls. Carson ate his in one gulp. We're getting close, said Annie. I hope you'll like your surprise. But Carson knew what he'd really like. Annie's lobster roll. We're almost there, said Annie as they left the island. In the campground that night, there was fiddle music. So friendly and fast, it made everyone dance. Annie clapped and jigged. Carson chased his tail. Tomorrow, whispered Annie, as they snuggled in their tent. That rattlebang car drove onto a ferry. And at last, they were finally there. A house stood waiting by the ocean. It was red like the house back home. Out came a woman who looked like Annie. Her steps were slow, but her smile was as wide as the sea. Oh, my dear, cried Elsie, and she hugged Annie hard. I am so glad to see you. The hugging went on. 
for a very long time. Carson let out a yip. Oh, said Annie, do you want your surprise? Look, there he is. Carson stared. His surprise was a dog, a dog who looked so much like Carson, it was like looking into a mirror. It's your brother, said Annie, Digby. Do you remember? Carson barked with delight. This was even better than Squeaky Chicken. Carson hadn't seen his brother since they were pups. He couldn't believe how handsome Digby had grown. As they unpacked the rattlebang car, Elsie smiled. She said seeing Annie and Carson was the best medicine in the world. In the days that followed, they walked together beside the great Atlantic Ocean, Annie and Elson, Carson and Digby. They loved the salt air. They loved the red house. And they loved their sweet time together. It was grand. Well, that book took us on a trip across the whole country. Now, sometimes we go places in our cars, and sometimes we go places in our imagination. And there isn't a map to the moon exactly, but people have directions. And at the library, we sing a little song that talks about going to the moon. It starts with our rocket engines. You can get them going. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll get there very soon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Far, 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 we're going to the stars. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Far, 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 we're going to the stars in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Thank you. All right, let's see. I have another book and it's too long for me to read today, but I just wanted to show it because it's another book about traveling in the summer. And it's called Kits, Cubs and Calves, An Arctic Summer. It's by Susie Nepayok Short, illustrated by Tamara Campo. And it's the story of a young person who goes to visit their grandparents in the Arctic. And it's absolutely beautiful with a really nice story. And it looks like so much fun. And her grandparents have these wonderful, wonderful things to do, like recording the sounds of the animals. And they go out to the water and they see some whales, the beluga. Look at that. And I just want to show you one more picture from this book. Because sometimes there are books that I like to look at the pictures over and over again. And can you see that there? That would be a super adventure. I wish I could go on an adventure 
where I could see polar bears. So maybe that's a book that you'll take out of the library. Okay, I have another book to read today and it's called We Are All Under One Wide Sky. It's by Deborah Wiles, illustrated by Andrea Stegmeier. We are all under one wide sky. Two clouds glide by. One, two. Three songbirds sail the air. Four fir trees over there. Five feathers from a nest. Six tulips bloom their best. Seven dump trucks full of sand. Eight bumblebees make a band. Nine clovers for a crown. Ten whirligigs spinning round. Nine shadows butter the yard. Eight fence posts standing guard. Seven moonflowers open wide. Six crickets creep inside. You could even count the people and the kites on this page. Five lanterns softly glow. Four gigglers in a row. Three kisses, soft and sweet. One, two, three. Two sleepy heads fall asleep under one wide sky. Well, there's so many places we can go. We can take a map and drive down the road. We can take a walk around our block and look for things that we could count, like in this book. Or we can use books to travel anywhere in the world or anywhere imaginary. Thank you for being here at Storytime today. We'll just end with our goodbye song. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye.